Oh my goodness. This is so raunchy, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. I am back to making perfume videos and I'm gonna start back with some purchases that I've made. I am excited to start using them, so let's get started. These perfumes are not in any particular order and Let's start with Shalimar. So this is a popular fragrance, Shalimar by Guerlain. And the box is... <laughs> okay, I did see it in store, but the bottle, how nice it looks, just took me off guard. It is so nice, heavy glass bottle. Mm. Okay, this is not a perfume review. <laughs> and <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you the perfumes that I bought. It's really nice, okay? It's a classic scent. It goes up there with the number fives from Chanel. Next up is a fragrance that is quite popular that I have shown you in my previous videos but I had to purchase a bigger bottle just because I could only find a 30 ml bottle at the time I purchased it. That is Angel Muse by Thierry Mugler. Oh he's now called Mugler not Thierry so forget that part. Um, this is the Eau de Parfum and it is the 100 ml bottle. So I'll just open it. Okay, that's the box. Ooh. Okay, so that's the bottle. It's actually very nice and shiny. Mm. Mm. Smells like chocolate, <laughs> like hazelnut and vanilla. Um. Oh, this is such a treasure in a perfume collection. Okay, this will go under my must haves, um, definitely. Let's spray it. It's also very strong, so you don't need a lot. I don't know anyone who's owned this perfume and did not like it. Um, some complain that it might be too strong for them, but a light spray in winter or cooler weather, then, uh, you know, it, it will carry you throughout the day. And it's such good quality for just being a designer fragrance. I will have to do proper reviews of these perfumes because I'm just wheezing through this video. Um, just showing you what I bought, really. It wasn't, I wasn't intending on, on reviewing the perfumes, but um, I will not wear this in an office space because it, it's, it might be too strong. For me, it's winter outings. So yeah, depending on how your nose is, how sensitive your nose is, then uh, you can find a suitable occasion for it. But it, it does just smell like chocolate, hazelnut, and vanilla. Um, oh, it's really, really nice, okay? Um, yes, and of course, I had to get the bigger bottle. <laughs> Cause that's just how I am and I will enjoy it well. And yes, the small bottle doesn't sit on the vanity. It lies down like this, but I think this one will be able to sit, sit upright on the vanity table. So that's something that I like as well. So 
yes i was just thinking that i have missed making perfume videos ah uh, so i am so excited to be making this anyway i just need to calm down the next perfume i have is not new to my collection i have repurchased this perfume i think twice now and it is the one by dolce and gabbana that's the box in its packaging okay this is a well-known fragrance but this one is a must-have in my collection I think I will always own this perfume just because I have fond memories of times when I wore this perfume. So it's only right for me to repurchase it. Um, the first time I bought it, it was in the Auto Toilette version. This is the Auto Parfum version, the 75 ml. So let me show you. there it is omg this packaging is so classy and pretty and so feminine it looks beautiful on the vanity um <laughs> okay <clears throat> this is perfection to my nose oh another must have i think if you don't know where to start with perfume and let's say you're just very feminine and womanly then buy this one for spring summer um anytime the sun is out then you should put this on because there is no occasion where this will be inappropriate at all okay if you have children and you're going to a teacher students whatever conference you can wear this in an office space you can wear this for a wedding you can wear this to somebody else's party or birthday celebration you can wear this to church I just mean it's perfect for any occasion it's just feminine classy and it's a must-have in my collection that is why I continue to repurchase it um, not that I get through the bottle that quickly I just end up gifting my perfumes <laughs> so I always find myself having to repurchase oh oh floral musky scents oh so good the auto toilet lasts as well um i want to see i'm going to try this out and see how the auto perform wears but the auto toilet lasted me half a day whenever i put it on um and but i was a bit generous with my sprays when i wore the auto toilet but it took forever to finish. I didn't even finish that bottle. I, my sister took it. Anyway, I missed it in my collection. And people who own this will be able to smell, you know, will be able to pick out what perfume you're wearing sometimes. So, but I'm not really opposed to that. Like, oh, are you wearing Dolce & Gabbana, the one? Yes. Oh, you smell so good. They will still compliment you. Um, I love this. This is so classy and good. If you have this bottle or this perfume, let me know in the comment section how you enjoyed it. I don't know anyone who does not like this perfume on other people or on themselves. If you're a feminine woman, you're going to love this as well. Actually, I have a friend whose birthday is coming up. I might get this for her. She tends to like um, fruity florals, but I don't smell anything fruity in here, but I'm sure she'll still like this vibe. Okay, so yes, that is Dolce & Gabbana, the one in the Auto Perform 75 ml bottle. Next up 
is a fragrance that I am not familiar with at all. I do not own any perfumes from this brand, this luxury house. So let me take the box first. This is Atelier de Artistis by Alexandra J. Um, Alexandra J is the fragrance house and that's the name of this the atelier the artistis is the name of the collection this perfume is from and i got in the 100 ml bottle but anyway i was attracted to the packaging of these perfumes <laughs> and i was eager to try them and i just started with this one for no particular reason Look at this packaging. It's got foam on the top. And this velvet. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's a lid. This is the perfume case. It's velvet with a uh, like a gold knob at the top. And voila, well, that is nice. <laughs> a plus for packaging. It has this booklet inside. We'll look at that in a second. And here we are. <sighs> the perfume bottle. Give me a second inside okay there's like a tussle that's the perfume it's from the ephemeral collection by alexandra j um this is an aromatic um floral fruity scent it was a blind buy i'm kind of in the middle of whether I actually like it or not. I have not sprayed it on me, but just smelling it from the bottle. <sighs> Smells a bit like tea leaves with some citrus fruits. So it's, it's a fresh smell. Um, as it's settling on the skin, it is changing, it is smelling good it, it has like that citrusy spiciness to it i think it's like the tea leaves floral vibe <sighs> anyway i obviously will have to wear it to know what i'm talking about the bottle lid is heavy it's this nice round lid it's so nice and the bottle itself okay in the collection <laughs> the bottles come with different art on them and it is nice so from my understanding atelier diatistis that's me reading it in, in like english version meaning the workshops of artists anyways <laughs> but yes um it makes sense to have bottles in the range that have different art on them um, there's one with like a bird and there's, there's so many different nice, nice bottles. Okay. But this is what I decided to go with for this time. The bottle is heavy. Let me try it out and see how I go. Cause right now it's the perfect season for these types of scents. It's a summer ish, spring ish here in Australia. I will be able to try this perfume out and see how i go with it the longevity where i was able to wear it um yes and if it is worth collecting perfumes from this collection anyway that's another perfume this is a hundred ml bottle and an auto perfume okay next up is a fragrance in this box I am so excited to start collecting perfumes from this brand. 
This is Frederick Mal. And I decided to start with Mask Ravageur from the collection. So I'm just reading the back of this packaging. Um, this perfume, Mask Ravageur, has a sex appeal. Um, it enhances the magnetic aspect of mask with amber, vanilla, patchouli, and sandalwood. <laughs> All my favorite notes, okay? And anyway, this is a popular scent and it's only the start of my collection because I intend on getting specifically three more that I will not mention to you right now because this is about Masque Ravageur, okay? <laughs> Let us open the box. So, it was first released in 2000 and since then it's been loved and celebrated, okay? It's part of the Ember Oriental tradition. Um, Masque Ravageur, okay? Anyway, let's just open the bottle. It has this paper sleeve, paper sleeve over it and it was made in France. <laughs> so Masque Ravageur was made by Maurice Roussel. Um, so yes, what happens is Frederick Mal, the fragrance house, he takes on different perfume artists to create perfumes for his luxury house. I mean, now the perfume house is owned by Estee Lauder and I mean, there's a lot of background story to it, but um, we'll keep it simple for this video, okay? <laughs> and I've taken off the paper sleeve and what we have is this box right here. And I believe it slides out like this. It's quite simple paper, cardboard box, you know, nothing fancy. Oh, look at that. And that is the bottle. Okay, typically the Frederick Mall perfumes come in a bottle of this shape and size if you get a hundred mil. But I have the limited edition bottle. So it has these colors on there that are supposed to represent the perfume. So I'd say this is like a brownish, reddish, you know, um, sensual colors. And this is a sensual perfume, okay? Let me just smell it. Oh, I didn't show you the top. And it is a 100 ml bottle, three, 0.4 fluid ounces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so raunchy, okay? <laughs> This is so, I don't want to say, it's very sexual, sensual. I will have to do a separate video of these perfumes in more detail. This is just to show you what I've bought, but I am so excited to explain to you what this perfume smells like to me. Oh my goodness, I'm going into tears. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just my imagination, but this is okay. This is nice. <laughs> I already mentioned to you some of the ingredients in this perfume, you know, sandalwood. It has like an ember vibe to it, but it is so much more. This is a unisex perfume, oriental fragrance. Um, there's a lot I want to say about it, but I want to save it for a review video. I will go into more details in another video when I've worn it for different occasions, okay? So look forward to that. 
So the cap is actually very good. It holds the bottle well. Um, some caps don't hold the weight of the bottle. So if you were to pick it up off the shelf like this, some will just, you know, drop the bottle, break and all that. But this is good. You can safely pick up your perfume with the lid. Anyway, let's move on to the next perfume. So I went to a perfume store and I smelled different types of MFK. Maison Francis Kirkshan perfumes because he is one of my favorite perfumers at the moment. I had to go and smell all the different popular scents. Um, Grand Soir was one of them. I did not really fancy that perfume when I tried it. I can understand why people like it. I do enjoy amber scents, but it didn't excite me to the point where I wanted the bottle if that makes sense. I am willing to go and give it another try and see maybe my olfactory, I had olfactory fatigue that day. Perhaps that could be the case, but um, yes, I will go and try it again. And there were a few others that were nice, but nothing stood out to me except for one. This is Oud Satin Mood. Oh. My goodness, I had to buy the bottle, okay? I just had to because there was no way I was going to continue living my life without this perfume. Let's open it. So that's the box. <clears throat> Maison Francis Crookshan Paris Oud Satin Mood. Um, Eau de Parfum, 100 ml and 2.4 fluid ounce here in this corner and that's it there. When I tell you that I really like this perfume, I really liked it. I pictured all kinds of scenarios while wearing this perfume. That is the bottle. Very nice packaging. So it comes with that booklet. Oh, oh, wow. So you know that I have the Baccarat Rouge 540 in the extract version, and I have the biggest bottle, and I did a review of that. I will link the video in the description box if you have not seen it you should watch it but and this is my second mfk perfume it had to be my second because honestly it is a must have these perfumes are expensive for a reason i really wish they had a bigger bottle do they have a bigger bottle because i will need one this this does not seem enough for me, <laughs> okay? <sighs> this is sexy, okay? This is grown up sexy. This is, we know where this is heading, kind of sexy. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna wear it, then I'm gonna review it but you already know that I love it. And no other perfume that day really did much to me more than this one did. So yes, I'm excited to share with you what it is I like about it. It is an oriental fragrance. It is long lasting, I know, because it is MFK, but how it mixes with my skin and things like that, um, I will have to come back and let you know. But this is one of the perfumes that I purchased. So the juice in there looks quite dark. It looks like a bluey um, liquid. Um, yes, I don't think it'll stain my clothes, but we'll see. 
gold lid, heavy glass, 70 mils. Um, yes, so made in France. Okay, so just as a quick comparison between my Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrite in the 200 ml bottle in comparison to this 70 ml bottle of the Oud Satin Mood. So that's it there. Quite a significant difference. Um, let me take off the caps. Honestly, I just want all his fragrances in big bottles. I just, you know, they will be staples. I just love them. Oh, I still, still fall in love with the extra at Baccarat Rouge. Like, it's so addictive and it still makes my mouth water. Um, but, yes. You know what? I love the original version of this perfume as well, the Art of Parfum. Um, layer it with the lotion and spray this because this is more close to the skin. And then you wear the other perf the Parfum version and then rely on the sillage for that one. You're just layered in Baccarat, you know? Anyways, so this is tiny compared to this, but these are very concentrated perfumes, so you only need a little bit. You literally just need a little bit, okay? Um, but that's the size comparison, 200 ml and 70 mils. Okay, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you own any of these perfumes and what you think about them. And if you're glad that I'm back to making another fragrance video. And I mean, I'm so excited <laughs> to make a few more. I always intended to make more perfume videos, but you know, I'm interested in other things as well, just like most of us are. So here we are again. And yes, so anyways, I will see you in my next video. Check out my other perfume videos if you have not already. Okay. Thank you again. Bye.